All right, so let me look at your Christmas list that you got here. For your gifts, you want a Nintendo Switch, is that right? <laughs> All right, I got that checklist. All right, now a 60-inch big screen TV. <laughs> All right, that's on the list. And you also want to have a honey glazed ham. Is that correct, the honey baked glazed ham? <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll look into this and see if I can do this for you. Oh, wait a minute, the kids are here. Hello, kids. Welcome to another episode of Turkey Tales. Today, we're going to tune into the Gobble family, and we're going to learn about a supper to remember. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming to our family meeting. I have fantastic news. We are going to do a very special supper tonight at 7 p.m. This is gonna be the most important supper any of us will ever do. All right, you guys excited? Yeah, shake your head yes if you understand yeah. that. So seven o'clock, be here because we are going to take the Lord's Supper. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, what is this? I didn't keep this beautiful figure by just eating a little bit of juice and a little cracker. I'm just saying the way that this was sold to me was like Thanksgiving dinner, the best meal you ever had, super fancy. And we show up and it's this? Yeah, wait, what do you mean is this? I thought it was like pizza or something. I wanted pizza. I agree. All right, guys, listen up. Here's why this, is, this supper is so important. It, this is called the Lord's Supper because Jesus, it says in the Bible that Jesus, before his death, burial, and resurrection, he went into a room with his 12 disciples and he had this supper with them. And it's called the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper. And this supper was something he wanted to tell them about what was about to happen to him. And so the Bible says when he was in this upper room that he took the bread, which is your cracker, and he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. And then it says that he gave thanks to God for the bread. So pray with me. Father in heaven, we thank you for Jesus' sacrifice. We thank you for his body that was broken for us so that he could forgive us of all of our sins. We love you. Amen. And it said that he took the bread and they ate it. In the same way, he also took the cup and he told his disciples that this cup represents the blood that was shed that gives us the forgiveness of sins. And so he said, do this in remembrance of me. And the Bible says that every time that we take the Lord's Supper together, that we proclaim Jesus' death until he returns. Wow, kids, I hope that you got to see what that supper to remember was. It's called the Lord's Supper. And it is so important for each of us to remember the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Wow, kids, I hope that you learned the importance of the Lord's Supper today. The Lord's Supper is such a huge part of our faith. It is a time for each of us to remember the sacrifice that Jesus made for each and every single one of us. It's to remember his death on a cross to pay for our sins, and then it's to remember his resurrection that sealed the victory over sin and death. And it is such an important part of our church life that each month we take the Lord's Supper together as a church because it is important for us to remember what Jesus did on the cross, death, burial, and his resurrection. And the Apostle Paul, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, he says this, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So this is what the Lord's Supper is all about when we take it together as a church family. It's us remember that Jesus' body was broken. 
that he shed his blood for us because he loved us, because that blood is what gives us forgiveness of sins, of all the bad things we have ever done. But then as a church family, when we take it together and we take seriously and remember what Jesus has done for us, that we are proclaiming the good news to others that are watching, that every time we eat the bread and drink the cup, it is a witness to what Jesus Christ has done for the world, but has also done in our hearts by saving us from our sins and giving us victory over sin and death. So when you hear your parents talk about the Lord's Supper, this is what it's all about. It's about you and I and your parents and your church remembering what Jesus is sacrifice was all about. That's our victory, that's our hope, and that's where we place our faith. So would you pray with me today? Father in heaven, we thank you for Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus, we thank you that you were willing to have your body broken for us, that you were willing to shed your blood so that you could bring us back to you and put us right. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and it's in your name we pray, amen. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to say this phrase with me. The Lord's Supper helps me remember Jesus. Can you say that with me? The Lord's Supper helps me remember Jesus. All right, guys, have a great week. See you next time.